So the Great Salt Lake has been steadily declining for decades now, but coupled with the mega drought that we have experienced for the past several years, it kind of reached this really critical tipping point where we are on the brink of ecosystem collapse. It stresses our farmers, it stresses our ecosystem, it's hard on the birds, uh, and, it, and it's hard on the lake. There's, there's less water out there, and then the salt levels start to get higher. And as salt levels go up, it puts stress on the brine shrimp and the brine flies, which are kind of the keystones of the ecosystem out here. The Great Salt Lake touches the food that we eat, the water that we drink, and the air that we breathe. Over two-thirds of the surface area is now dry, and it impacts agriculture, it impacts the environment, it impacts the cities and the industrial, so everybody needs to be involved. A lot of people are saying that like, oh, we'll just like leave it to the next generation, and like, I guess we're kind of worried because it's like kind of on us. A failure's not an option when it comes to the Great Salt Lake, so I know Utahns are united in that, and together we're gonna make it happen. So Great Salt Lake is really the driving force to the, to the economy, to our local community, to the ecosystem that exists here, both for migratory birds, but also for the people. And it has a significant impact. Great Salt Lake provides over 7,700 jobs, nearly $2 billion of direct revenue, and uh, it's really the focal point of, of life here in northern Utah. The more we learn, the more we realize how much that lake affects everything that we really, really care about. And not just here in Utah, but hemispherically across the United States, this quirky little brine shrimp industry, which seems pretty small locally, has a massive global impact. It supports tens of millions of pounds of food production. It's an indispensable part of global aquaculture. We export uh, to over 50 countries, and uh, brine shrimp is used all over the world, really in shrimp and fish hatcheries. For waterfowl, shorebirds, and a lot of other water birds, this is uh, a stopover point on their migration. So if these ecosystems are struggling or drying out and we just don't have enough food resources to help these birds on their journey, we could see that really starting to affect uh, continental populations of waterfowl. Um, our population is, has just boomed. It's just been tremendous growth uh, since I was a kid here. Uh, it's important to Dominion because uh, we have so many customers here. We have about a million customers in Utah, just over a million, and about a thousand employees that live in the vicinity of the Great Salt Lake as well. The same things that are important to our customers here are important to our company. For the people around the Great Salt Lake, the major concerns are health effects from toxic dust storms. The Great Salt Lake is a terminal lake system, which means that everything that's ever flown into the lake doesn't flow out industrial input, all of our wastewater, and then also there's just high levels of arsenic that are naturally occurring. So there are some really significant concerns uh, with dust. Two and a half million people live right here, within just a few miles of the lake. This dust will blow clear to the east coast if it, if, if it, if it occurs, if this lake were to dry up. This isn't just a Utah problem. This is a United States problem. People have become aware that the Great Salt Lake, if it dries up, it's going to be an environmental catastrophe. And one group that always, you can always count on to step up to the plate and do whatever it takes to help are the sportsmen. And without them, this place would not exist. It's as simple as that. Ducks Unlimited recently relaunched our conservation program here in Utah with the recognition that the Great Salt Lake and its wetlands are one of the most continentally significant areas for migratory waterfowl in North America. Part of relaunching our conservation program here is uh, something called the Great Salt Lake Initiative, which is our fundraising goal to raise $5 million in private funding in the next five years, which we will then, of course, leverage to secure more federal and state money to complete a lot of wetland restoration and habitat enhancement projects. So, you know, we're, we're really just getting started here and we need lots of donations to the Great Salt Lake Initiative, corporate buy-in, state buy-in. I mean, every dollar that comes to Ducks Unlimited, every private dollar we will leverage to seek more funding. And, and that's how these projects get done.
Dominion has had a tremendous focus on environmental issues and sustainability in the last several years. And last year, we were able to do a grant in the amount of $30,000 to help Ducks Unlimited with their project of, of saving or improving the Great Salt Lake. And one of the great ethics about the Great Salt Lake is we've kind of had a, an all hands on deck approach, people working together, industry working with environmental groups and sportsmen's groups, sort of everybody working together, the state agencies working together. One of the things I really love about Utah is it kind of has this pioneer spirit, the sense of taking the long view, that uh, you know we should be worried not just about what's gonna happen next year, but five or 10 years, and also the sense of legacy. What do we leave for our children and grandchildren? There's nothing better than a sunrise or a sunset on this wetland area in the Great Salt Lake with your daughter. It's about being with my kids and the people I love. You can't believe the beauty and just how much love and energy and passion there is out there. It's, it's really remarkable and I would invite anybody who wants you to go out and experience it. It's life changing. We need to give back and make sure this is here for future generations. I go way back out here, and this, this place is maybe a little more special to me than, than most, but uh, I share that passion with a lot of people who love it just as much as I do. This problem will be solved because there's a lot of people just like me.